Hello, and welcome to NextStar's video series on the Salesforce Developer Workbooks. In this track, we'll be walking you through the Visual Force Workbook. This video covers Tutorial 11, Updating Visual Force Pages with Ajax. Visual Force allows you to use Ajax effects to create dynamically updating pages. Visual Force does all the hard work for you also, you don't have to write any complicated JavaScript logic to get this done. The key element is identifying what needs to be dynamically updated and then using the re-render attribute to dynamically update that part of the page. So to get started with this tutorial, we're going to create a new Visual Force page to work in. We're going to call this page dynamic. Click create. And now in the body of this Visual Force page, we're going to add a couple different elements. First thing we should note is that we're using the account standard controller. So beneath that, we've got a page block. And the title of the page block will be the account name. Then we've got an output panel. We've identified this output panel with the ID contact details. Within the output panel, we've got an apex detail tag with the subject current page, parameters, CID, and then a couple attributes, related list equals false and title equals false. Now let me explain this briefly. So we've created an output panel tied to an ID in a detail element, just drawing its value from a parameter that it's expecting to be contained within this Visual Force page. These components are basically going to act as the output for our dynamic updates that we're going to implement on this page. So this is step one. We're going to move into actually adding the dynamic re-rendering to the page. So to add the elements that are going to do the re-rendering and supply the parameters, we're going to add another block below here, added a second page block called contacts, and there's an apex form within here. And now this form contains a data list of the account of the contacts associated with the account referenced by this Visual Force page. And it lists all the contacts names. So let me go ahead and save this. Probably not going to see too much yet. Okay. Now just to show you what we've already got, I'm going to go ahead and grab a valid account ID from elsewhere in Salesforce. Jump over to sales, grab an account. Let's go ahead and grab this ID from Express Logistics and Transport. So now as you can see, we've got our first page block, which is listing the name of the account and the contacts page block that has the apex form. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this list of contacts actually clickable and have it supply dynamic updates for the page. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and modify this. All right, so we've, we've used the apex command link tag and wrapped the contact name in there. And we've tied this also to the CID parameter within the page. And that is basically the value of the ID for the given contact. So we're going to go ahead and save this just to show you how this works. So now these contacts are clickable. If I click on one of them,
as you can see, clicking on the contact name now populates the initial page block with all the contact details. So I'm going to expand the page editor and just explain this a little bit more closely. So we've got our first page block, which has the account name and the contact detail. And then we've got our second page block, which is list of contacts. So when we go to this Visual Force page and we reference an account, so we're referencing the Express Logistics and Transport account, it takes the name and puts the account name in the first page block title, and then it populates the second page block with all the contacts. Now it makes these contacts into clickable links that when you click them, it sets the CID value which CID is just a variable within this page. It sets it to the contact ID, and then it says, hey, re-render this contact details output panel. So by clicking on one of these links, it takes the ID of that contact, puts it into this variable, the CID var variable within the Visual Force page, and causes this panel to refresh. And now all of a sudden, you have different values up here. This whole contact detail pane can be refreshed and populated with contact information. So this is just a small sample of how powerful dynamic updates can be within a Visual Force page. So that's all for this tutorial. In our next video, we'll cover tutorial 12, using extensions to add functionality. Thank you for joining us. For more great content, click the follow us on Google+. Thank you.